Hello everyone, my name is Blue Raven 666 and today I am going to be telling you guys about how to deal with aggressive snakes. Now, uh, the snake I have with me today is actually not mine. Uh, it's a corn snake that belongs to my friend Morgan. And uh, I have sort of taken her into my care, so to speak, you know, temporarily uh, to work out some aggression issues she supposedly has uh, involving my friend Morgan and uh, several other people in her household. And um, to, to me, this is kind of like a myth. Kind of like the boy who cried wolf sort of thing. Because whenever I've ever gotten her out, uh, she's been really calm, really docile, really relaxed and tame like she is now. But um, we're handling her regularly to, you know, make sure those aggression issues kind of go away. And uh, get her used to human contact because she's kind of used to being in an enclosure by herself. And uh, don't be surprised if Sif tries to butt her in... Uh, butt her way into this video because uh, she's already tried to get after Scarlet a couple of times uh, due to the fact that, you know, snake and she takes a very heavy interest in the snakes. So, um, you know, dealing with aggressive animals uh, in general is kind of a risky thing. I mean, obviously it'll make you uneasy if you're afraid that they're going to bite you or they're going to scratch you if they've got claws and, uh, you know, that's the case with my friend Morgan. She's kind of afraid to handle her out of fear of getting bitten. And uh, this is a fear that does not affect me whatsoever, especially with a snake this size. Because, um, you know, in my head it runs through, like, if a snake bites me, if this snake specifically bites me, it's not going to do much damage, if any. It'll just be a couple pinpricks and it'll be over with. Um, but, uh, Morgan having a, uh, former phobia of snakes, you know, her being afraid of snakes in the past, you know, whenever that sort of happens, she kind of gets anxious and, uh, we're slowly working with her on that and she's doing very well with it. And, uh, you know, we're working with Scarlet too, to just kind of help her tame down a little bit and relax. Because corn snakes, I've never known them to be all that aggressive. I'm not a huge fan of corn snakes. But, um, you know, as animals in general, they're a lot like ball pythons. They're very docile, very relaxed, um, a little bit more energetic than ball pythons and fast moving. But uh, overall, they're, they, they make great beginner animals, beginner pets. And, uh, you know, they're not really known for having too many temperament issues as far as I'm aware. Um, but, uh, you know, basically like the first thing you want to do when... You know, you're dealing with an aggressive snake, in in this case, is, uh, you know, firstly, you kind of have to be relaxed and, you know, be calm when approaching them. Because if you're nervous, they're going to be able to tell that. They're going to be able to tell that immediately. And you being nervous is not going to help them be relaxed at all. They're going to either assume you're a threat or they'll assume that, you know, you're going to hurt them and, you know, they can't predict your movements. You know, this is why I have such good luck with supposedly aggressive animals because I'll just reach in like it's nobody's business. No hesitation, no flinching, no shaking, no indication that I am nervous and no indication that, you know, I am afraid of the animal itself. So, um, you know, trying to push through that anxiety and fear is probably like step number one and as you can see I'm perfectly relaxed and uh Scarlet here is perfectly relaxed like this is the most chill I have ever seen this snake like she's never just laid back and lounged about on my arm um and the next thing you want to do is get to handling them regularly if you don't handle them regularly Obviously, there will be times when they're just accustomed to not having all that much human contact and they'll do their own thing. And when that human contact comes in again, you know, obviously, you know, they're, it's a new sort of thing to them. And, uh, you know, it'll just not really help with their situation, you know. So handling them regularly and getting them accustomed to human contact is of utmost priority as well as working on yourself to kind of help get yourself accustomed to their behaviors and their attitudes 
Um, and uh, probably like another thing that'll help you immensely is memorizing their behavior patterns, you know, uh, figure out what exactly causes them to be aggressive. If it's like a lack of human contact issue, then, you know, try to, you know, handle them more regularly. That's what we're trying to do with Scarlet here and get her used to being handled and everything. Um, I've seen cases where it's just been a feeding issue where either they're used to being fed in their enclosures or they're just aggressive feeders in general. And, um, you know, that's something that you kind of have to judge accordingly. It's kind of a debate in the reptile community whether feeding in the enclosure or feeding out of the enclosure is right, basically. But, um, in truth, with every snake, it's completely subjective. I feed all of my snakes in their enclosures and uh, none of them have any sort of aggression issues or associate their um, enclosures with food, essentially. I mean, I can reach into Summer's cage, which is my red tail boa, or Leo's cage, or Aries' cage right now and pick them up and they will not assume that my hand's in there to feed them. So, I mean, honestly, they look out for mouse and if there's no mouse, they're like, oh, human's gonna get me out and hold me again. Great. Uh, so, you know, it's, with every snake, it's completely subjective and, you know, every snake is completely different in terms of how they handle feeding and behavior issues in general. You know, there's no one right way, really. So, I mean, you know, just overall, you know, handle regularly in terms of winding out issues. Try not to be nervous or anxious while, while holding them because they will pick up on that. And um, if you kind of get them accustomed being handled regularly, eventually the aggression issue dies out. I mean, that's what it was with uh, both Capricorn and Aries, my previous ball pythons. Aries I still have. Uh, Capricorn has been rehomed to my friend Morgan. Um, Capricorn had some aggression issues when he was young. It can be an age issue, too, because uh, young snakes are known for being very rambunctious and uh, nippy. So, you know, normally it's something they grow out of, especially if it's a ball python. You know, they'll be really snippy and, you know, want to do their own thing as babies. But uh, as they get older, they really mellow out most of the time. And, uh, you know, they become very handleable and tame and relaxed. And Scarlet is just chilling like a villain right here. She's literally never been this relaxed in my grass. Like, normally she moves all over the place, and it's kind of a struggle to keep up with her. But uh, in this case, she's very calm and relaxed. And uh, so far, we're making really good progress in terms of myself, you know, in a couple of weeks when uh, she's used to being handled pretty regularly. We're going to reintroduce her to my friend Morgan and, you know, see if there are any sort of aggression issues that remain, you know. And if any, uh, Morgan says that she's glad to rehome Scarlet to me. Um, and, I mean, I'm willing to take her on. I mean, I've, and I haven't had the best luck with ball pythons, or not ball pythons, corn snakes in the past. Kind of have a little bit of a grudge against them because of my friend Cameron and her, uh, corn snake Toshiro, because, um, I handled him once, and he's like a six-foot corn snake, and I handled him once, and he sent the biggest wave of shit down the front of my shirt while I was holding him. I swear the poop he took was bigger than he was. And I don't know where he put it all. So, um, you know, maybe this will help me kind of uh, reform an opinion on corn snakes. You know, just, you know, working with Scarlet here and, you know, kind of taming her out a little bit. And, you know, she's very calm. She's very calm today. So uh, maybe we're already making really, really good progress already. So, uh, yeah, I'll pre I'm pretty sure you guys will get updates about Scarlet and how she's doing and everything. And, uh, yeah, that's all for this video. Just to recap, you know, work on your nervousness with aggressive snakes. Obviously, if you're nervous, then they're going to be nervous. Um, figure out what the, basically, core of their problem is. If it's a lack of contact 
or a feeding issue or that they're just really young um, it's definitely something that can be worked out and um, you know just handle them regularly and you know be patient patience is really key with these animals especially if they have issues you know patience is very much key so and that is something I have an endless supply of for some reason so yeah again I'll give you guys updates in terms of what's going on and uh, anyways that's all for this video you guys bye bye